pumpkin seeds. What do you do with them? Well, today I'm going to show you how to roast them. And you can also use this technique for any other squash that you may have that you're eating and you have the seeds from. So for example, you might have your acorn squash or your butternut squash or your spaghetti squash. It all works the same and they're very delicious and they're very healthy for you. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. So before I go over the ingredients with you, I just want to mention that you can season these up any way you like. You can be as simple and as you know, plain as just some olive oil and some salt. Or you can do what I'm doing. I'm adding a little bit more. In fact, I'm using something a little different than olive oil, but you could use butter, coconut oil, any kind of oil you want and any spices you want. So I'll give you some ideas on some variations at the end of the video. So for today's recipe, I have my sugar pumpkin here. I've got some coconut oil because I like to use coconut oil. It works well in the oven for higher temperatures than say olive oil. I've got some ground cinnamon here, a little bit of sugar, and I'm using baker sugar just because it's a little more fine and dissolves in a little nicer and easier, and some sea salt. We're gonna start off by preheating our oven to 350 degrees, so I've got mine going. The next thing you wanna do, if you're using coconut oil, you're gonna want to warm it up so that it's a liquid, so that we can pour it over our pumpkin seeds. So what I've done here is I've placed my coconut oil in this dish and I filled the dish with some hot water so that it will melt. Coconut oil uh, becomes a liquid at higher than about 75 degrees. So I've got to get the temperature up, make it nice and liquid. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and cut into our pumpkin. Let's scoop out our seeds. So I'm just using, you can use a spoon or I happen to be using here is a um, pumpkin scraper from one of those pumpkin carving kits. So these little guys have a fair amount of seeds as you can see here, look at this. We got quite a bit here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my seeds into a bowl of water and that's gonna help them separate easier because we wanna, I wanna get all the you know, this membrane, this uh, orange stuff out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrape all the seeds out and get it in the bowl. And once we uh, do that, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so now that I've got all the seeds scraped out of the pumpkin and placing them, you know, in the bowl here with the water, and this is gonna just help me separate um, the seeds from the, the uh, membrane there. Now, if you need a recipe or you wanna know how to make pumpkin butter with your uh, sugar pumpkin there, uh, I've got a video for you and all you have to do is click right over here and I'll leave a link for you here and down below in the description of this video. Okay, so now that we've got this separated, uh, you're going to want to put your hands here in the bowl and kind of pull the seeds away from the membrane or whatever you want to call this fibrous stuff and separate it out. It tends to sink so and the seeds tend to float, which is nice. And now I'm going to go ahead and place the seeds into a strainer because I want to give them one more rinse. I want to get as much of this out of there as I can just because I like it nice and clean when I go and, and roast them in the oven. All right, look, got to my last seed here and I'm going to go ahead and rinse these just one more time to kind of get any little excess off. So after that nice little rinse, we want to pour the seeds. I'm just going to pour them out right here on a towel. We want our seeds to be dry and not wet so that they will roast instead of steam in the oven, right? So I'm gonna spread these out here. They're still pretty wet. And we're gonna blot it dry here with this towel. So I'm gonna do that. Now you want your seeds to be dry, like I said, and there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. One is that you can um, let these sit overnight and maybe make them the next day. Um, I don't think you really need to leave them that long, but you could do that. You could do it ahead of time. Or um, you can do what I'm doing. You're going to pat them dry, maybe let them sit for 15 minutes or so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hair dryer and just give them a little blow dry. Five minutes with the blow dryer and these babies are nice and dry. You gotta remember though, as they start to dry, they start to kind of float around a little bit. So you need to keep your, your uh, hair dryer a little bit elevated, otherwise they're gonna blow all over your counter and you're not gonna be happy. So make sure you keep it away. All right, so now we're going to place our seeds into my bowl here so we can mix our spices. 
All right, so now my coconut oil has melted. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna add, oh, by the way, I got about one cup of pumpkin seeds out of that one tiny little pumpkin, so I thought that was pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna drizzle my seeds with some pumpkin, I mean some, not pumpkin oil, coconut oil. All right, and now you can do whatever you want. Like I said, guys, you could use, you know, you wanna spice it up, make it spicy and hot. You could do cayenne pepper, chili powder, um, but like I said, I'm going with the cinnamon, so I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of cinnamon in here because I really like the cinnamon. It really does it for me. Okay, I'm gonna do just a little bit of sugar. Not too much, just a little bit of dusting there. And salt, and you gotta have salt, right? It makes it taste good. All right, so probably half a teaspoon or maybe a little less of salt. And then you just mix it all up. I'm gonna pour this out onto, I have a little baking sheet here, and we're gonna spread these out in a single layer. Now we're gonna bake these in the oven, and we're going to check them. Like I said, 350 on the oven. We're gonna check them in 10 minutes, and I'll probably give them a little stir. I wanna make sure these don't burn, okay? And a little dusting of sugar, because I'm a sweet kind of gal here. Love my sweet stuff. Okay, in the oven they go, and we'll check them in 10. So I just took the pumpkin seeds out of the oven. Mine were in there for about 25 minutes, and I checked them at every 10 minutes, okay? So I went in there and I gave them a little stir to make sure that they cooked evenly. And now you want to get them out of the, the pan because they will continue to cook and they may burn. So once you get them out of the oven, they're still really hot, but just put them in another dish. And you can see how nice and golden brown these are, perfect. Of course, the longer you leave them in, the more crunchy they're gonna be. So these are kind of like right in between. These are perfect, so, and make sure you let them cool a little bit before you try eating them, because you don't wanna get burnt. All right, guys, now here's some of the things that I'm gonna do with these. I'm gonna eat these snacks as a snack, you know, on the go, I just put them in a bag, take them with me, it's a great snack. These guys have a lot of magnesium and phosphorus and zinc in them, so they're really healthy. They've got some omega-3s, and, and they're just a great source of protein. So healthy snack, guys. Also, what I like to do with them is sprinkle them on my salad. And I also, here's one for you, I take my organic plain yogurt, and I layer that with some pumpkin puree, which you can get the video for, and some of these, and mix it all up. It's a great, delicious snack. So, guys, I hope you'll try that. Let me see if I can get one of these and give a little taste, see how they do. Oh, I love the crunch. I don't know if you could hear that. Nice crunch. I can taste the cinnamon. It's a little bit salty. It's a tiny bit sweet. Delicious, guys. I think you're going to love it. Okay, guys, that's how you do roasted pumpkin seeds. And of course, you can do any kind of squash that you like. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helps you out. Those of you that asked for it, um, this one's for you guys. And uh, also, if you have any other recipes you'd like to see me make, go ahead and leave that comment down below in the description. I'd love to hear from you. All right, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button. That way you'll be notified of new videos as they come out every week. I don't want you to miss any. All right, and um, you know, share this video if you, if you liked it, you think somebody else might enjoy it, and give me a thumbs up. Thanks everybody, I'm Rockin' Robin, and we'll see you next time in the next video.